Okay, seriously. This, I'm Mitchell, and that's Eric. Uh, this is Critical Me. Welcome again. We saw Super 8, which just came out a couple hours ago. Guys, watch out! Yes, yeah, story. story. I like... The story, there was nothing, like, original about it. Yeah, but I've never seen it done like that before. You've never seen E.T.? It was well, well redone. Very well redone. There's some stuff that shouldn't be remade, and they, me they remade it very current and with enough original content with it. I, lo I really love the, the adventure the kids went on. Um, I'm going to say a nine for story. Story was good. Writing was good. There was nothing really original about it. it like I said, it was fun. You just admitted it wasn't original, and you gave it a nine. Um, I'll have to give it a five to balance that out, because I think it really deserves like a seven. Things happen around here that I can't explain. All right, performance. Performances were great. Um, I really love the ensemble cast of a bunch of no name, not famous, not big name actors. I think they all did a really solid job. I think J.J. Abrams did a really solid job of directing. And, uh, yeah, I'd give it an 8. I'd say an eight's a pretty solid number with performance. The kids were good. Yeah. I felt like everybody was good. There was nobody weak in the movie. You couldn't really pick anything apart. J.B.J. Abrams, the directing was... J.B.J. It was awesome. He did a great job with that. Um, I loved it. Eight. Artistry. Pretty, pretty wicked special effects in this. Uh, there Dude, some that really train good... sequence. Yeah, the train. Some... Well, you, that's what the, obviously the previews. You don't get to see much there's... of the train, but that was yeah, uh, pretty epic. There's that was some like spectacular action sequences. I, I agree. Um, really well done. Uh, pretty cool. I think they did a great job of like capturing early eighties, like right around the time it I was in the seventies. It was like no, it was early eighties. Was it Blockman, Blondie? So yeah, it definitely takes place in the early 80s, like round about when I was born. You're, you would have been a toddler or something. And, uh, seven. I'm gonna give it an eight for artistry. Like, I was... I was... It was impressive. You know, it wasn't the most epic thing I've ever seen, but wow, was it amazing to see on the screen. This is... A, you want to take your kids to see this movie. This was an awesome science fiction movie. Awesome. Vibe was good. I enjoyed the ride. Like, the entire time, I didn't feel like at any point was like, oh, this is getting boring. Like, I really... I like the energy all around. I'm gonna say... Uh... Nine. For vibe. Yeah, I would give it an, I would give it a really solid eight for vibe. Um... Really great dynamics of balancing humor and, you know, the sort of, like, comic relief, like, in the middle of really tense kind of chase sequences and some suspenseful stuff. Entertainment value. This is a very entertaining movie. I'm thrilled that uh, I got to see the first show in, um, tonight, and uh, definitely worth seeing in a theater. It's a, it's a, it's a really great I think it's a really great theater movie, especially, you know, if you're seeing it in like a packed house, the audience can totally get into it and kind of definitely feel the energy in that theater at, at uh, different junctures in the movie. I would give it a nine for entertainment value. Yeah, the entertainment value, this is, unlike the superhero movies, this is like a well done action movie that you go see it in the theater, you know, Marvel keeps cranking out those, those movies, but this is definitely, take the kids, go see it, like... Like I said, this is our, this is like these, the new generation for kids, E.T. An eight. I don't feel good about this. Go! I saw it. No one believes me. 